Now ahead of the 2019 elections, we bring in on the news this hour an election observer, Nelson Ekujimi. Thank you very much for joining us again at this time. It's a pleasure, uh, thank you. All right, so yet another electoral season is ahead now. It won't be the first, the sixth uh, since um, uh, the advent of democracy, exactly, in 1999. What would you say uh, have been the gains that you want to be sustained or leveled upon in this uh, particular season we're entering? Yes, thank you very much. I think uh, the gains from the process so far is that we have made tremendous progress in that now the voters, the votes count. And that is why the political parties have made the electorate. They have turned them into the beautiful bride, not through their manifestos of campaigns, mm. but rather through inducements of all sorts. Right. So one expects that as we go into the season, that the media, as well as other stakeholders, will continue to focus on the issues and okay. educate the electorate so that they do the needful. Because okay. for us to get it right, we need an informed electorate. But you know, we're still battling with that in view of our literacy level as a country. But by and large, I think we have made progress with regards to the electoral system. But one nagging problem that has remained unresolved till date is the issue of a punishment for electoral violators, which even the INEC the chairman, boss has right. you know, identified. Mm -hmm. One hopes we'll be able to, you know, put our acts together and find a way around it such that, you know, it will serve as a deterrent to other would be Violators. And talking about the Elections Commission and Tribunal, which uh, Professor Yakubu, you know, has, of course, uh, ham hammered on now, how should Nigeria go, go about it? Of course, it's going to come in after uh, the elections must have taken place. But what are you expecting to see that isn't on ground yet? Well, for me, I expect that INEC is on top of its game because you recollect that INEC released the timetable almost a year ago, I think early 2017. Right. And you know, that should serve as a wake-up call to every stakeholder, even including you and I as voters. That's the time for us to go and look at our PVC and make sure we are ready with right. it. Also, we, we must recognize that uh, INEC conducted the voters verification exercise some days ago, whereby you check your name your at your various... For any units. errors. Yes, for any errors. I, fortunately enough, as a patriotic Nigerian, I did that. I don't know of so many other people mm -hmm. because I visited some polling units and the INEC staffs there were just, you know, idle, idle all through. Mm -hmm. And you want to ask, how ready are we? So by and large, I think the, as we go into the season, I think the atmosphere will, you know, will waken up the consciousness of the people that, look, we have a task to perform individually and collectively come February 2019. And then in, in addressing the do or die mentality, which uh, Professor Yakubo has also highlighted as lingering challenges to the a smooth process here in Nigeria, how can one tackle it? Because of course this transcend, it has security implications and a host of other pointers elsewhere. I think the, the only way to tackle it is through the establishment of the Electoral Offenses Commission because whoever commits a do or die, whoever is you know, committed to a do or die mentality, means that that person is ready to violate the provisions of the Electoral Act. The Electoral Act stipulates the mechanism through which you can get into power. And once you go outside of that you know, corridor, it means you are in foul of the law. And the law has made provisions for what awaits such persons or groups. So one expects that as we look forward to the establishment of the Electoral Offenses Commission or Tribunal, that INEC, in conjunction with the security agencies, will work hand in hand now to ensure that those electoral, uh, those electoral those likely electoral offenders who have this do or die mentality, are already sounded a note of warning that look, there's a law, com there's a commission coming in place, even though we have the electorate in place already. So if you are caught now, the fact that the commission is not yet on ground does not mean you cannot be prosecuted. Because some people have been prosecuted in the past, but you know, uh, the, the, the holistic prosecution of those who are, who are alleged to have committed such infractions is what we, you know, we are yet to get to. Uh, we have just come out of a, a very active 
political season. I'm talking about the primaries now within the political parties. And then INEC has also had to show its capabilities for the 2019 poll. Now, uh, looking at the Oshu and the Ekiti State election also just concluded. And then we've seen the various allegations leveled against the INEC now, you know, perhaps for being on unholy alliances with the ruling party and the presidency. <coughs> Moving forward now into 2019, how would you want INEC, you know, to stay clear of all these allegations? Well, there's nothing you can do about people flying allegations all over the place. What In we the should... absence of evidence? Yes. What we should be demanding? But you've been an active observer in Definitely. all of these fields Definitely. now. Have you seen INEC not living up to I have not seen, uh, or as we sit this afternoon, INEC has been professional. They've been unbiased in the conduct of their activities. And I hope and want to use this medium again right. to admonish them to stay on that path. That is the only guarantee to a peaceful, free, and credible elections. Yeah. People, whether INEC does it well or not, some persons are just determined that once they lose or once the, the outcome is not going in their favor, they will cry foul. So okay. we must not, you know, be, we must not, we must not be oblivious of the fact that some people's makeup is tilted in that direction. But INEC must remain focused to its constitutional responsibility. Mm -hmm. In that way, they can be rest assured of the cooperation and support of Nigerians. All right, we'll end the conversation on that note now and continue, of course, to monitor the developments around. Nelson Ekujimi, thank you very much. It's a pleasure.